what's up everyone, TJ here. Out snowboarding in Cardrona, New Zealand today. It's been a beautiful sunny day out here lapping the park and I'm checking out the 2018-2019 Ride Helix snowboard. All right guys, the Ride Helix is marketed as a freestyle snowboard, but it's actually quite aggressive. So it's gonna serve you well, kind of using it as an all mountain freestyle board. If you wanna take it outside of the park, it's gonna do really well there also. This is gonna be a camber dominant snowboard. It's pretty much full positive camber for the entire length of the board with just a couple of really small rocker zones as you get to the tips, just helping to make it a little bit less catchy, but it's really gonna feel like a positive camber snowboard. It also runs an asymmetrical side cut, so that means that it has a designated heel side and toe side edge. So whether you're regular or goofy, you're gonna mount the bindings up the same way, and it's a true twin, so it's still gonna ride exactly the same in either direction. The heel side edge is gonna have just a bit of a deeper side cut, so you're gonna be able to carve more aggressively on your heels with less effort. It basically just kind of spits you into a more aggressive heel side turn because of that tighter radius that it has. You're also gonna find pretty much all of Ride's high-end tech in the Helix. So it runs their triple array carbon stringers, which is basically just three carbon stringers placed right under your feet, helping to make the board more responsive and just initiate turns a little bit more efficiently, helping to transfer that energy from your foot to the contact point as efficiently as possible. You'll also find their slime wall sidewall, which is basically just a urethane sidewall, the same material that skateboard wheels are made out of, gonna help to absorb shocks and vibrations in the snowboard, especially on those higher impact landings. Just as I remembered, the Helix does have a very aggressive flex, definitely on the stiffer side of medium. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say at least a six out of 10, maybe even getting close to a seven out of 10. So that's gonna make it not really that conducive for butters and presses and things like that. But on the flip side, this board is gonna be really, really stable. It's gonna be good in those higher impact scenarios, hitting bigger jumps or even carving at higher speeds. This board is actually a lot of fun for carving as well. This is still gonna be a really fun snowboard in the park all the way around, but it's not really gonna be the best board for getting those tall presses. It's the type of board that if you're doing a board slide and you start to slide outside of the binding, it's gonna hang on really well. It's not gonna flex out on you. So. I think the biggest highlights for me on the Helix definitely got to be the stability and the pop that it offers. If you want to hit those bigger features in the park or start to hit larger jumps, this board's going to be great for that. It's also going to be a lot of fun for carving outside of the park. If you want to start taking those carves to higher speeds, this board is going to hang on to those turns really, really well. And it's just an all around pretty aggressive snowboard. So it's going to be good for freestyle, but also good for all mountain. I wanna give a shout out to Alta Snowboard Shop down in Queenstown for loaning me the snowboard for the day. If you're in Queenstown and you're looking for a good selection of demo boards, check out Alta, they had a really good variety. Super stoked I was able to get on the Helix out here today, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video soon.